Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with D. D. I have a stick, and it's so big. And we're playing Man Twenty, and we're playing the horseshoes. No. <laughs> yes, we're playing the, the Indianapolis Horseshoe Boys. Boys, and we're the Arrowhead Champs. <laughs> yes, that's actually exactly who we are. <laughs> the Arrowhead. Yeah, actually, it is, isn't it? The Arrowhead Champs. <laughs> They play in Arrowhead, and they are the championships. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. That's nice. I like that. God, man, I can't... This freaking pillow, Joe. Is this why I don't have pillows in my room? Right. I mean, oh, yeah. So you imagine you can't, like, luxuriously lay down while we record videos. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I chill. <laughs> I chill. I know. I got a high back chair. I'm all like, yeah, head Dude, to back. I had one of those types of chairs when I lived in my apartment in Cleveland. Yeah. And it was my favorite chair in the world. Dude, I love high back chairs. Is, is that what it is? It's high back. Like, because because here's a weird story about this now? about getting this chair. When I was married, we went out to get furniture, and we each wanted like recliners, and we wanted a couch. Ugh, see, you can't. That's too old, man. Well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we, we we wanted recliners, much. but the and I guess I didn't even realize what I was looking for wasn't a recliner. Because every recliner I sat in... Oh, what was it, Joe? <laughs> because every recliner I sat in didn't have... Like, they don't make high-back recliners anymore. Like, my grandfather make? used to have a high-back recliner, and I loved it. Because I like being able to put my feet up and stuff. What? And when we, we went to... What are recliners like middle back now? They're, they're, like, if you put your head back, yeah. it, le it looks up at the ceiling. Because the the back isn't high, they're like low back chairs or something. Oh, we went to five different furniture stores when we were looking for furniture, just kind of going around one day. I did not sit in one high back recliner. I feel like this high back term is one that you've coined yourself. It, it, it isn't like uh, interchangeable with everybody else's nomenclature. By high back, I mean the back of the chair is it's higher high than your head. <laughs> You're gonna say that. <laughs> By high back, I mean the back of the chair is high. Right. It's it's it when you can your head can be supported by the back of the chair and you can still look forward. I mean, if you're in a recliner, can you just like scooch up a little bit and then like boom? No, you got a little bit more. I want room. maximum comfort, bro. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy something with comfort. not maximum comfort. Come if on. If my waist is at <laughs> less than a sixty-five degree angle. I'm not having it. But so anyways, back to my story. <laughs> I sat in this chair, which is not a recliner. It's just a high back chair. And it, I, I didn't want to get out of it. It was awesome. And and I ended up buying like a little ottoman to go with it. So I put my feet up and like my ex-wife asked me like probably 40 times. Are you sure you, you really want to recline? And I was like, yeah. And, I, and I'm so glad I bought this chair. It's like the best chair I've ever owned. I love it. Yeah, I had one, like I said, man. But uh, I had to get rid of it after all my moves. Uh, I, I also used to fill it up, and now I've lost a lot of weight. And now it's like kind of big and oversized for me. A little that's bit. even a better feeling, though. I know, right? <laughs> now Most I can sit in Indian style. Most expensive piece of furniture I've ever purchased would definitely be my uh, memory foam mattress, which I do not regret. <laughs> Yeah, I have I, uh... never slept like I slept on that thing. Yeah. People say that to you, and you're like, yeah, whatever. You're probably just bullcrapping. And believe me, I've heard it a hundred times. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Pfft, they are not kidding. Yeah. Um... <laughs> they are not. You can sleep in any position. You're just like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just because it just like wraps you up like a blanket. Everywhere. Yeah. Like you could just take. My... See, I'm going to. You could take my earlobe and wrap it around my ankle and just like. Leave me inverted, and I would sleep like a baby. I'd wake up feeling like a million bucks. A million dollars, huh? Yep. Yeah, I, uh, let's see. Well, this chair wasn't expensive. It was only a couple hundred bucks. Uh, but my bed, I think, my bed is probably, the bed I have now, which is, it, it's, it's, it's kind of beat up at this point, but, um. Whoa, what you been doing there, boy? Well, it was stored in storage vertical for, like, four years, so it kind of <laughs> no. jacked up the springs no. a little bit. Well, I thought you were talking about your sex life. Nah, dude, I wish. <laughs> uh, I thought you'd been beating that bed up. Yeah, dude, beating that bed up. But <laughs> it is a very comfortable bed. Every person that ever What's gets in that? that bed says to me, oh, my God, this is the most comfortable bed. Yeah, cool. So, I, I mean, I'll take that. I, and I, I just, I always, I'm like, 
Man, you should have been in it eight years ago. It was so much better. Mm, I don't know, man. I've definitely slept in, like, uh, I don't know if it's just like a box spring with a mattress. It's probably got, like, some, it's not like springs. I don't know. What are they Mine? Put? Yeah, what are they putting uh, They're individual. They're like, well, mine is, is still coils? kind of the old, the, oil, the old style, I think. I still, uh, but they do, like, do indiv individually wrapped coils now, I think. Uh, it's kind of like the jam. Yeah, yeah, Not a cheap mattress, but, like, one that's, you know. All right, well, I've definitely slept in beds worse than that. Oh, yeah, it's just like, it's like a metal frame with a bunch of springs in the middle. <laughs> like, it, ro <laughs> it, like oh, it rocks back. It just <laughs> reminded me of a story. Dude, when I was younger, dude, we had one of those mattresses with just, like, straight up springs in it. Right. To the point where it, like, wear down and one of them would jut yeah, out yeah, and yeah, stab yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. I remember I got a new bed for, it was either Christmas or my birthday or something. My mom got me a new bed, and we threw the old one out, dude. And we start, me and my friends started ripping it up, and we found the springs. Started ripping up your brand new bed. No, the, the oh. old bed because oh. the spring came started oh. jutting out we got rid of the old bed and oh, I got we ripped up bed. the old bed okay. yeah so we started ripping up the old bed we took the springs out and we started putting them on our feet okay and they were like big enough where it was like if yeah, like you were a, young yeah 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 so we started like jumping around with these things yo i swear it, it added <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I swear. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the old like eighties meme that wasn't a meme where you put springs in. I could have jumped on the roof if I wanted to, Jonas. I could have so jumped on the roof. <laughs> All right, maybe not that high, but I felt like I was jumping higher, dude. Jumping higher. But that yeah. Sure. That that's, I believe in you. Oh, Jonas. I do like comfort though. Yeah, dude. I'm a big fan of comfort. Um, this is, yeah, yeah, dude. That's probably the most spe expensive piece of furniture I've ever bought. Uh, I've never really bought an expensive desk or anything. Me getting into the whole recliner game, like recliners are great, uh, but like recliners are like the moped of living room furniture. Yeah, like they're super fun to ride, but you don't want anybody to see you in one. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's how I feel. I don't want to be seen riding a moped. Imagine me. Oh, dude, that'd be cool. Coming I should get home, you on. Coming home on my moped. Coming to pick up a girl on my moped. <laughs> exactly. That'd be good, dude. It might work in Austin, actually. Yeah, it probably would. But, yeah, imagine that. Like, hey, lady, you ready to go, go out, out on, on our date? Town. <laughs> yes. I get the same feeling if she comes home and she sees my recliner with the cup holder sitting in the middle of the living room. And she's like, oh, you have a recliner. Yeah, I was married at the time. Being single, I don't think I'd ever buy one. You're right. I mean, I feel you can just kind of accept it because you're, you're done searching. That, yeah, that's where I was. I was just like, yeah, we're just going to recline it up together and be recliner people. Oh, man. It's picture like two old people. In recliners watching the news, dude. And I love recliners. I know, man, I they're great. They're I didn't great. even think about the sea said that, but that is true. It's like when you get when you like you're in a if you're in a, like a relationship and you guys buy some recliners together, that's like Ooh, you might as well just like that's cut a your second lip. ring. <laughs> <laughs> really, this is like I'm really giving up with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Like we're just gonna hang out in recliners and watch the news Ugh, together and grow old, dude. You gave up at that point because I have definitely looked into getting a recliner, and I even was talking to a, a girl, a ex girlfriend, about getting recliners. She was like. Uh, what are you, an old man now? It's like, you know what? You're absolutely right. I cannot. There's be a time and a place for a recliner yeah, when like, you're married or when you're old. Exactly. And I got another 30 years until I need to get a recliner. Yeah. Oh, well, because because then what happens is you fall asleep in it all the time. They're inevitable. You can't not fall asleep in a recliner, dude. Oh, There's the so vibrating back. Dude, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't not fall asleep. And that's the, they make recliners like they're freaking foreign cars now. They are adult uh, what are those things that they you put a baby in? Incubator. They're like in a, they're like an adult. <laughs> just, just lulling you into the afterlife. <laughs> it, really, it really is though. It cradles you. It keeps you warm. You're in like the the, the partial fetal position. Your drink is right there. Right, and you're like you don't. Know, you're and you're like, why'd you fall asleep in your recliner? You're like really. You have to ask me that question. How did I fall asleep in the recliner? That's not... It's, you don't see, know? Yeah, see. 
I get it. I get the med- <laughs> negative connotation with recliners because they 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 have they say a lot without saying anything yeah. at all. Yeah, I, dude, I've <laughs> actually thought about with this chair going back to the place I bought it to see if they still have them and buying a new one. They do it. Yeah, because like it was, it was I think it was like two hundred twenty five bucks or something. Yeah. So it's not bad for a chair. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure it feels comfortable now, but if I got it back to like pristine condition, like brand new day one, I'd probably be like, oh my God, I love this chair even more then. <laughs> Dude, I've been through so many couches. Yeah. I swear I've had like five couches. <laughs> I swear to you, I can remember at least five couches. How many times do I have to buy a couch in life? Yeah, dude. How many couches have you bought? A lot. You, you're up there too? Well, I bought, let's see. I bought a couple at the Goodwill one time. Yeah, I've done that before. I've bought them off of friends from the Goodwill, but I've gone to the furniture. The last couch I had, Jonas, that couch was so good. I had to leave it in freaking Florida, man. I couldn't even find anybody to come and take it. I've left two couches before, too. Yeah. Like, like, it's like furniture's great. Like, I had a recliner that I loved, and, like, I was just like, I can't take this can't, to Texas. Like, I'm, I, where am I going to fit this in my pod? It'll take up, like, half a pod. Ex- exactly. <laughs> That's, yep, same thing I ran into, man. Yep. It sucks. Yep. I like, was like, I've well. lost some good couches out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, at least you know you can always, like, you can always, there's more couches in the sea. You can always find another couch that's going to feel great. Yeah. That's very true. That's yeah. very true. Yeah, people always tell me they love these couches, the ones that we have here. Like, yeah. like friends that stay over and sleep on, they're like, oh, my God, I love your couch. And I'm like, I hardly ever sit on it, ever. That's probably why. It's because we, we, we never, we never use them. them so yeah. they just they retain their integrity. They're basically, like, brand new all the time. Yeah, because yeah. that's, it, like, the number one killer of couches is sitting. Yeah, I mean, use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sitting is killing more couches every day yep. than you know killing out there in the streets because like those foam pads they regain shape if they're not constantly oh my god why am i running uh <laughs> they retain they retain shape and reform if they aren't sat on constantly mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. it's like it's like if you have a mem- if, like you have a memory foam pillow and you use it every day it will break down but if you have like two or three and you rotate through them they all slowly get their elasticity back i don't know <laughs> what it would be memory foamosity <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the deep deep with the cool and vapors oh dude i can't do all that dude I, I i just like now i just want like a memory from just Life. like <laughs> just like a memory from orb i can just crawl into <laughs> It just has like a slit, and you just like yeah, and it just has like enough for like airflow and respiration. There's like a mask though. You just put the mask on. <laughs> it has a tube coming out the top. It has a little CPAP, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it has a little CPAP. It has a CPAP in it. And it's just a memory foam orb. You Joe, crawl in. Wait, and it, are see, you telling me that you don't think this is, this could actually work? I think it could, 100%. You <laughs> are just you have like, it's me? like instead of having like a memory foam bed, you have a memory foam cube in the corner that's like 10 by 10. And, and can, there's like a slit and you just go in and there's a CPAP in there. And you just, you could like, however you want to And it just sleep. like hugs you in the fetal position. Oh, here's what I think would be the best way to do it. Like, you oh. have the memory foam cube that's solid. And then like the four by four area in the middle is, yeah. is, uh, chopped up memory foam, so so it's like a it's like so it's very pliable. It's not so stiff, and you could just whoosh, and you just and the mask comes down like an airplane emergency thing, and you just, <laughs> just put your CPAP on. This is kind of reminded me of like sensory deprivation, <laughs> dude. That's have what it takes done, to sleep well. No, have I you ever haven't. done that? I would hundred percent. We should find a place. There is to a do place. That. It's not far. Really? I've lo- oh, I've looked it up. Don't you, don't you worry. Are you serious? Yeah, dude. It's it, they have the uh, they do the salt water solution where you lay in the water yeah, and yeah. it uh, and it basically it feels like weightlessness because it's yeah. just the right proportion of salt so your body floats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and they, it's completely dark room and you just lay in it. And like the only thing I'm afraid of about doing it is not being in my own head because I do that all the time. Is that I'm gonna fall asleep and lose the experience. Because if you go there and just take a nap, is it really worth laying in that and taking an eighty dollar nap? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I want to experience it. I don't want to like. Uh, well, drink a freaking rock star before. You yeah, go I just something. feel like it's going to be so relaxing being in that like nothingness that it's hard not to fall asleep. No, oh, do a bump. <laughs> Get all zooted up on the cocaina and then go in and do sensory deprivation. <laughs> no, kids, we don't do drugs. I'm kidding. Jesus. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm kidding. We don't do drugs. But uh, no, dude, I would do it for sure. I think it would be awesome. All right. Anything I'm, that I'm puts game. me in my headspace like that, dude, oh my God. I'm I'm always it. there anyway. Yeah, right, exactly. But if I can do it without distraction at all. Whoo. Always fuck freaking there. Yep. Exactly. But yeah, I do want to do sensory deprivation. I'm, I'm game. Cool. That's something we I would do. We do a couple's package and get a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'll hold like, your hand. Can we, can we sensory deprive together? <laughs> Ew! On the same tank? Holding hands? Ew! <laughs> Ew! It'd be, a very, it'd be very good for our relationship. It might be, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's, dude, is holding hands with a guy, that's it's not like a homosexual act. <laughs> is it not? No! <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the intent. Exactly! If you're just like, I'm scared, hold me. Exactly. That's not, that's not. If you're falling off a clip and I grab your hand and I'm pulling you up. Yeah. Or I slip and fall and you grab my hand and help me up to the... Yeah. 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 Or we're enjoying a sunset and we decide... <laughs> yeah, we're on the Either beach. <laughs> Have a nice little blanket dinner with wine. <laughs> Even why we're both wearing like pastel blouses <laughs> for some reason. We're wearing women's clothes now too. Why we got you wearing blouses? No, just like puffy shirts. Oh, okay. I was no. like, wait, we went to the women's section and picked out clothes for our date. They, they have men's blouses. Do they? I swear to you, they do. Oh. How is it different than a shirt? <laughs> a blouse is just a shirt, but it's just like the way it's put together. Like blouse. Oh, it's a it's a, a, blouse it's a, is a specific... manufacturing method, not a. Gender. Yeah. I thought they just called not, women's dress shirts blouses instead of shirts. Nah, I think there was like some just like misuse of blouses in in a certain uh in a certain point in American history, but right, yeah, right. a blouse is the type of uh the type of garment. You wanna know my favorite use of blouses? What, shirts versus blouses? Game blouses. Game <laughs> blouses. That's my favorite use ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of when I used the term blouses. Too. Game blouses. <laughs> what a weird word, it's like, you, you know, it's like You know what part of the store you picked that shirt up in. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas is talking about the Dave Chappelle print sketch. Oh, it's so good. If you've never seen it, it's so good. Charlie Murphy's true ho true Hollywood stories of yeah. Rick James and Prince. And that, and that definitely that ran through my head, and then uh, Seinfeld with the oh uh, the puffy, puffy shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking because that was a blouse. Yeah, that's like that was so blousey. Oh, yeah, like if, if anyone's listening to this and they've never seen that Dave, those Dave Chappelle skits, those are like that's like some prime sketch comedy, <laughs> and it's based on a true story. It's just so good. <laughs> Just like, oh. Jones, I wonder what what millennials, <laughs> when when they get in their 30s and 40s, I wonder what, what they're going to feel like <laughs> looking back at, at the generation of today. Oh, my God. It's so crazy, man. Pretty soon we're going to have old people listening to Eminem, and that's going to be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, their nursing home is going to be full of people playing Xbox, as long as they have yeah. the dexterity to, like... The, the dexterity to still like play. Yo, you know? that is. Oh Dude, my yeah, God, by the time beautiful. we get old enough to be in a home, I guarantee you the people who are dex have the dexterity, they'll be hanging out playing video games mm -hmm. because that's what we've done our whole life. Mm -hmm. If you can't see, you don't can't use your hands, obviously not. But yeah, yeah, it's going to be weird. Yeah, and we're going to be that's listening to like <laughs> Eminem and like we like just. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, you're going to go in the nursing home, there's people are going to have like subwoofers. Yep. <laughs> Cause I will definitely be paying Young Thug in my room. I don't care who my roommate is. I need my TV, my Xbox, and my Young Thug. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be an interesting world. All right, everybody, that is all the time you have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Call everyone you know and tell them to come check out our channel. If they do, we'll tell you hello. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you on the next one. We are outta.